Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the super close up. Um, but as you can see by the title, we're doing a get ready with me. Um, just a makeup video chatty you know what i mean actually we are in lockdown as you all know so i'm actually not going anywhere um hence why i'm in my comfy clothes and so so just ignore that ignore my hair as well because me and my hair at the moment are just not friends but anyway i thought we'd do a makeup video because i enjoy putting makeup on it's fun and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um also i put fake tan on my face last night so that's why my face is looking a little patchy crazy i've got a mirror right here yeah so yeah actually my fake tan is not looking okay on my face so ignore that as well um so let's go on with the video so first i'm not actually going to prime my face because like i said i'm not going anywhere so there's no need to prime my face but i'm still gonna ow i'm still gonna moisturize um i'm gonna be using the cerave facial moisturizing lotion um i have really been enjoying cerave at the moment i wanted a foundation um i am very there's like on makeup there's things that i would pay out more for and there's other things that i don't mind like getting cheaper alternatives but foundation i do like to like pay out a little bit more for just because obviously it's foundation and my skin is very like sensitive and i like suffered with acne when i was a child so i like to like you know get nice products for my um for, for my foundation however there is a foundation that i l literally love which is um drugstar which is the superstay one this is the maybelline superstay um and i really really like this this is the only sort of drugstore one that i use but i really do enjoy it. but if you guys sort of have any other recommendations for drugstore foundations please let me know but i like this one in particular i know like everyone's got different skin everyone's got different preferences but i prefer this way more than any of the other drugstore ones just because um, i've got really oily skin as you probably can tell like my face is very oily um and i like full coverage and i like to stand all day and i find this works very well um i think it's a great dupe if anyone has the estee lauder double wear i do love my estee lauder double wear but it's 31 pound you know what i mean where this is 9.99 so you know anyway so i went into savers today i love savers um and they had this for four pounds it's using 9.99 four pounds so i was like you know what thank you um i usually do get the shade that is two shades lighter than this one but then i have the other i had was this but for four pounds like i just couldn't you know resist so i think this may be too dark i'm not sure we will see um and if it's too dark it's fine we can just mix it in with a lighter foundation you know we can make it work for four pound i was like i don't care if it's my wrong shade i will make it work so i'm gonna pop this on with my beauty blender which is actually not a beauty blender um it's just the revolution like miracle sponge i think it is i have never used the actual beauty blender like the proper one um because it's like what is it like 15 pound or something and i just or more i don't know so if anyone's actually ha used the real beauty blender is it worth it or is the like real techniques one any good actually i don't know i fake tanned as you can well, as i've told you so actually this shade is it looking a bit light for my neck it is actually looking a bit light for my neck oh well this shade's fine and i can just darken it then so oh wow i'm happy i think i might go back in to save us tomorrow and buy a few more bottles while it's that cheap so i'm gonna go ahead and pop this foundation on yes it doesn't match my neck um but we're just gonna ignore that because oh, wow it shook my neck there we're just gonna ignore that because it was four pounds so i'm not gonna complain i put on all the foundation as you can see um, I'll try to blend it into my neck. I don't know how well that's worked, so excuse that. Um, but I think it looks okay. Excuse my hairline here. It's actually gross. That is my fake tan. Um, we love that. Also, while I was in savers as well, I was just on the savers. I just shouldn't even go in savers because I just end up buying like loads of other bits that I don't need. This jumper actually is from savers as well. Like, 
Savers is just a great place. If you don't know what Savers is, Savers is um, just a shop. Um, I think they're all around the UK. It just does like loads of like toiletry bits and loads of cleaning products for like really cheap. Like they do a few like makeup and beauty bits as well. Um, I definitely recommend. I like, buy all my toiletries um, from Savers. Definitely love that. So I was running out of my trusty my trusty um you can't even see like literally it's all coming off this is my lasting perfection um concealer i was running out of that um and i've literally used that for like the past three years and like no other concealer but i went into savers and then they didn't have collection in there but they had the maybelline so obviously i got the foundation and then they had this one which is the maybelline fit me concealer now i've never used this but i feel like i've heard people talk good reviews about it and this is savers it was only like three pound so i was like yeah we'll try this out i got this in fair which is the lightest color maybe it's going to be too light um but yeah that's oh my god it I don't know if you guys can hear that. That's gross. Anyway, so that's... Whoa, that is light. So I'm just going to, like, dab it. I'm not going to put too much on. And then let's put some on the other side. This feels weird. Like, you know when you've just been using, like, the same product for all those years? And then you try a new one and then you're like, whoa. That's how I feel right now. I'm just going to put a little bit on. I don't want to go too, too crazy. Let's blend it in so my concealer is all blended that was actually a really high coverage concealer i would definitely recommend that one and it was cheap as well so we love that um so let's go into powder um i'm going to be using the revolution powder now if anyone knows any good powders um that is good for oily skin last all day uh please let me know I just want to find a good powder. I mean, this is powder's okay, but it's like just like a cheapy one. I'm gonna find a good powder, and I just can't. Um, I've spoke about this in my last makeup video. I did buy the Laura Mercier powder that everyone and everyone and everyone was talking about, and I just like I've still got it now to be honest. Um, but I just wasn't. Wow, that is a lot of powder. <laughs> I just wasn't like loving it to be like totally honest with you, like. I don't know i was maybe i just had too high expectations because everyone was talking about how good it was especially for like oily skin and stuff and i just wasn't i wasn't blown away with it to be honest and it did cost what like 30 whatever pounds so kind of disappointed won't be repurchasing but i do know lots of people loved it because that's the thing everyone's got different preferences everyone's got different like skin types that like everyone's skin like suits different things like it's not all sort of one for all so you just gotta like test out what you like what works for your skin um because obviously like loads of people ask like oh what like what like foundation do you use and stuff but it's just also like personal like sort of my mum as well like she's so like particularly with like mascara like a mascara that like works well for me like she'll hate and then a mascara that works well for her like i'll hate like you know what i mean like everything is so different so now we're all powdered up i'm gonna do the brows um i really do struggle with brows to be honest um i've been doing the same brow routine for like the past ever since i've been doing brows actually i've moved i started on pencil when i was about 13 or whatever and i moved to powder and now i'm on pomade um and that's it really but if you guys can suggest anything else um that would be great i'm just not really great at eyebrows at all they're just it's just not really my it's not really my forte but, you know, I just sort of, like, you know, go for it. Just sort of draw them in. So every day is different for my brows. Some days I'm absolutely loving it. And I think, wow, your brows look magical today. And then other days I'm like, see, I've just messed up. Other days my brows look like slugs. But you know what? We just go with the flow. And everyone, like, everyone has this sort of, bushy blouse at the moment like no product just like 
some what is it laminated brows or stuff i just don't think i i don't really have strong brows so i don't think i would suit just brow gel by itself i know a lot of people do just use brow gel by itself it looks so good but my brows aren't strong enough alone just to do that um i actually tint my eyebrows but from fact i'm allergic to eyebrow tint i don't know what in it that i'm allergic to um so that's great we love that because my eyebrows are naturally very light because i'm naturally a really fair person um i've got really pale skin um all my features are really light and my hair's like not like really blonde but my hair is like a sort of dirty blonde naturally and then when i dyed my hair dark i was like well i'm gonna have to dye my old eyebrows to match and then i found out i was allergic so that was great i did it and i went to work the next day and honestly my eyes were just absolutely swollen up and i was in so much pain um wouldn't recommend but yeah you gotta do what you gotta do at the end of the day thing here do you know what i actually really want to get like different color eyeliners like i said i can't really do eyeliners but i want to like try do like graphic liner sorry this concentration is the concentration is really just messed up this side so that is great anyway we're just gonna go with it i think so many people are scared of color but color like colored eyeshadow and just colorful makeup but i've really ruined that like i've actually ruined this look i was going for um but coloured eyeshadow is so bloody cool. I love it. I love, I just love it. I can't do crazy looks, but I just think coloured looks, it looks so good. But look, I've ruined my eyes. Anyway, we're just going to, actually, I'm going to, mm, I'm going to fill my whole eye with that, this colour that I've got on. And then I'm going to do the outline in like a darker blue. Um, oh, literally i just love I, I really like blue do you know another color that i absolutely love which i used to hate green oh my gosh green is just a beautiful color um i love 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 doing green eyeshadow i think it looks absolutely beautiful i think it goes so nice with my um blue eyes but then again with loads of like every to be honest, every color eye I think suits green absolutely love it um and now I'm really getting into green clothes um yeah I just love it this like looks looking very retro kind of into it I'm kind of into it to be honest definitely recommend um if you guys want like a cut like to delve into color but like you don't want to like commit and pay too much for a palette definitely recommend this palette it is the revolution pro regeneration um trends mischief mattes that's what it's called but basically it's just a colorful palette and it was under 10 pounds i kind of it was either eight pound or six pound but that just looks really cool i really like it it looks super cool yeah it's not perfect but like i said i'm not a makeup artist now i want to outline the blue in a darker blue do you know what i'm probably gonna be a makeup artist by the end of this look at all this experimentation i love it so i'm gonna like delve in to this one here um and i'm just gonna like outline it and see what it looks like I think this eye works really really well it looks kind of good it would have looked better if i actually had a liner to be bolder but this eye i've just ruined so we're just gonna ignore the eye um but you kind of get the gist i've just really messed up this eye so bad but this eye i really really do like and we've practiced wow i'm just giving really like retro vibes right now as you can see i've actually got eyelashes on but i'm just gonna go over the eyelashes with some mascara but some big false eyelashes would look really good with this look i think um but i already have lashes on so i'm not gonna do that i'm literally feeling like um i should be in the 60s right now 
it's kind of good. I kind of like it. Definitely recommend if you want to play with play with some color. It's great. It's so good just to practice as well. I just kind of wish I had a blue liner. I think it looked so much better because it's not sort of that great. But anyway, so now we've done that. I'm just gonna put on my bronzer. So um, I actually got changed because I want to show you my green dress. I've been using this MUA um highlighter powder. Like I swear by it. I would never use another highlighter, and it's literally like really 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 cheap like it's under i think it's like three pound and this is in the color radiant cashmere i love it like i said i would never never ever buy like a high-end highlighter because this is just absolutely it's blimmin delightful i tell you that honestly i just feel glowing to the skies so i've just gone ahead and lined my lips with this i'm not even going to show you why i'm going to show you but literally look how small it is that's how much i love this lip liner um it is the nyx color and it is in color coca coco coa do you know what? i just can't speak today but yeah that's what it looks like um and now we're gonna i absolutely love this maybelline superstay i always rave about it um if you want a matte lipstick that stays on all day, these ones are like hands down the best. I've tried high-end ones, whatever. Let's throw a gloss over it. This is the Kiko gloss um, in the shade um, 01 and 3D Lip Hydro Lip Gloss. That is what it's called. Um, let's just put this over the top. Like, look at that shine. Honestly, if you want a lip gloss, and these are really cheap as well. These are like under £10. And look at that absolute shine. Wow, let's just sort of put, to be honest, we can't really do much of my hair because it's just not loving life. Let's just put these two front bits down. It's kind of like make me look semi-presentable. Do you know what? I don't think this makeup look goes at all. Um, but yeah what do you think i kind of like it. it doesn't look that great but um that was me doing my makeup i hope you guys really really enjoyed if you did please give it a big like um subscribe and give a comment down below if you'd like thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye